Okay, let's solve the equation 8 plus 3 lots of 3x minus 1 is equal to 10x's. We've got an equation and we've got a bracket present. The first job that you've got to do is get rid of the bracket and we're going to do that by expanding. Just be very careful in this particular example because on the left hand side what you've got is 8 plus 3 lots of the bracket. So we've only got 3 lots of the bracket. So in a minute I'm going to multiply the 3 by the bracket. What you should not do in this particular case, which is very tempting for some people, is to say add the 8 plus the 3 together to get 11, and then you've got 11 lots of the bracket. That is not what we've got, because if you were supposed to do that, there would be a bracket around the 8 and the 3, which would tell you that you need to add the 8 and the 3 together first to get 11, and then say 11 lots of the bracket. That bracket was not present, so we do not have that. What we need to do is the following. The 8 goes straight down. Do not change that at all. So we've got 8 plus we've got 3 lots of the bracket. So notice now how I expand this out. I'm going to say positive 3 multiplied by that 3x. A positive 3 multiplied by 3x is positive 9x. Then I'm going to say positive 3 multiplied by negative 1. A positive multiplied by a negative is a negative and 3 times 1 is 3. Now it is true to say in this example that there's a minus in the bracket and there's a minus here for this second term of the expansion but I still uh, would suggest to you that you proceed to expand it like I did then. I would say positive 3 multiplied by negative 1 gives you negative 3. Do not automatically assume that's minus so that becomes minus go through the sign expansion that I just did. Okay, so plus 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. Equals, and leave the 10x unchanged for the time being. What you need to do now is just tidy things up on the left-hand side, because on the left-hand side you've got two numbers, the 8 and the minus 3, which can combine together. Now, 8 minus 3 is 5, so those two numbers can go together to give 5. You've also got a plus 9x, and that is equal to 10x on the other side. So I've just tidied things up a little bit. Okay, now what I've got is an equation with x's on both sides of the equal sign. So I'm going to collect the x's on the side with most x's. And in this case, you can see there's more x's on the right-hand side. So I'm going to take the x's to the right-hand side and collect the number terms, well, there's only the 5, on the left-hand side. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to leave the 10x where it is. And that 10x doesn't swap sides, so it doesn't swap sign. And I'm going to take the plus 9x, all of it, to the other side, and it swaps to a minus 9x on the right-hand side. Now, the number term, well, there's only one of them, is the number 5. That doesn't swap sides, it doesn't swap sign, it remains as positive, so I just put 5 down. And now we tidy things up. 5 on the left, and we work out 10x take away 9x. Well, that's just 1x. And so that's the answer. 5 equals x is the solution to this equation.